And Freely's mother is no better. Here's a message she sent Hannah after her initial video. After rereading this, Hannah, I'm so disappointed that you have tried to drag Harley into the mud. I think you owe him and Freely an apology. I can only be left to think you did this for hits on YouTube. And that is really sad. So let's go through the situation. This 60-something woman and her almost 40-year-old daughter are told of a girl's trauma in confidence. They then disclose this information to a rapist and the rapist used this information to target the girl. He rapes the girl and blackmails her to silence. He then goes on to accuse other men of his own crimes. The girl then makes a video calling him out on his hypocrisy. Not saying anything about the rape, just saying that she had experienced some sexually predatory behavior from him. What he uh, described as sexually predatory behavior. The behavior of luring girls half his age to his halter room in order to ask them for sex. The rapist then makes video after video after video trying to convince everyone of this disgusting slanderous story. The 60-something woman then contacts the girl and tells the girl that she is disappointed in her. The only reason she was targeted in the first place was because she disclosed private information to a rapist. And I know people will say, oh she didn't know that he was a rapist. But even if she bought into Harley's story, this is a 40 year old man making video after video about a girl half his age and saying things about sore pelvis and just other disgusting stuff while he's with her almost 40 year old daughter. On top of that she makes the extremely insulting statement saying that she thinks the girl made the video just for YouTube hits. She's not telling this to the 40 year old man that makes video after video after video. No, she tells it to the girl that made one video and then left YouTube. You know the really sad part though? That this 60 something woman cheated on her boyfriend multiple times. What's that? That's not true you say? Well if we're first gonna take Harley's words as truth then it goes both ways. And by the way, why would Freely's mom contact Hannah if Freely and Harley had broken up? It's clear that they were still together at this point. And when they did break up shortly after, they kept it secret to not give Hannah's video any credibility. And then four months later when it came out, they claimed that they had broken up before Hannah's video. It's just another crack in Harley's story. If Hannah was the liar, why would her relationship last while his relationship ended? And Freely was in on this. She helped an arc keep the breakup secret and she didn't only stay silent and watch Hannah getting destroyed. She actually helped. Harley destroy Hannah. And now she's making videos like this. Because I want to empower you girls. As I do not support the exploitation and oppression of my fellow sisters. Why are you projecting on Freely what Dune Runner does? Well, let me tell you why. Freely is his biggest supporter. She has been supporting him from day one and she has helped him get his fame that he has now. Like, he would never be as popular as he is without being Freely's boyfriend, especially with the quality of his videos. Like, he would never rise to fame like he did without being with Freely. And as someone who has such a big following, and as someone who uses the fact that others have a big following and they should be socially responsible in her message, I kind of feel like she's a bit hypocritical because she has a big platform and a big following. And so if anyone knows him, I know him, okay? And I like to think of myself as someone who is a good judge of character, who is carved up, who is rational. So when I say someone is a good person, they're a fucking good person. His heart is so fucking huge and there's channels that will hate on him and shit like that but at the end of the day the guy has the heart of someone i have never met in my life honestly the most giving person i've ever met in my life and i was thinking about something in bed which i think about quite often and that's where the people who continue to eat meat and dairy even though they know the impact of their diet choices on the planet on the animals they've watched earthlings they know the facts they've been educated but they choose to continue eating animal products whether they actually deserve to continue living how about this what if someone knows the facts they know their boyfriend is targeting and abusing girls half his age but they choose to continue to support him whether they actually deserve to continue living the slaughterhouses still exist the fur farms still fucking exist. They are still there regardless of you turning a blind eye to them. And the abuse still continues regardless of you turning a blind eye to it. And we need to bring attention to it to make a positive change. I agree, but the only time Freely drew attention to it was when it directly benefited her. You know, like just looking for excuses, excuses. No, you should not have that option. You just gotta step the fuck up. 
or you really don't deserve to live on this planet. Stop ignoring the facts that are slapping you in the face. That's all you need to do. We need that. We just need people speaking up. That is what we need, most importantly. Just do fucking something. Put some videos out. And, you know, have a purpose greater than your ego. That's all I really have to say. Now, to freely have a purpose greater than her ego when she denies Hannah's story, but at the same time believes Josie, it's incredibly convenient for her because Hannah's story make her look bad because she knew, but still made all these videos about how Harley was so great and had a big heart and all that. But Josie's story, that was after Freely's time, so that doesn't make her look bad anymore. Incredibly convenient. And on the topic of having a purpose greater than your ego, look what Josie said about Freely. She was so over the top kind to me in June, but never talked to me again after I made the video. I feel like she just wanted to get me to make the vid because she hates the narc. She might have never cared about me that much, I feel. Do you realize how dangerous that is? To encourage a teenage girl to make a video standing up against Harley when she know the kind of retaliation Harley has for that kind of thing. And then to just completely cut Josie out after a video. And I think Freely has known for a long time. Look at this video posted back in 2014. Their body language speaks volumes. So have you been cheated on in the past? Have I? Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't think my personal relationships with it is your share to the planet. Oh, come on. Like, in case you're asking. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And how did that make you feel? Oh. And I had mixed emotions. Listen to the way Freely says it. How would that make you feel? It's something about the way she says it. And also look at how Harley is kind of protecting him himself. I think Freely is confronting him about something in front of the camera. And we know that Harley is acting differently on front of camera than off camera. So it's kind of a safer way to confront him. What's wrong, Harley? What's, What's wrong? wrong did you just take my glasses off and throw me off the bike? No, did he? Oh, maybe he did. Why, is, why would I jump off the bike with Harley? I don't want anything to do with him. Huh? Oh, now he's on the camera. Now he's different. Yeah. Now he's different. The different Harley's out. I think it's time for Freely to step up. And if she doesn't, I hope people hold her accountable for her part in this. She said Hannah got the world of hate for her lies. But at the same time, she's basically confirming her story. In this Tumblr post, she's talking about how she remembered how Harley pinned her to the wall. Does it make sense that he would choke someone too? Here's Freely confirming how cunning he is, saying she cannot believe him and how he twists things. 